OVC, the waxed here, and in this video, I found one. Something that all vinyl collectors look for and hope to find every time they go out looking for records. I found it. I really did. I found it. I found the Led Zeppelin II Robert Ludwig hot press. I found one. I'm lucky, aren't I? But how did I find one? How did I find this? And how do you know it really is the one and I'm not lying? Well, I'm telling the truth. Here it is. In a sealed bag. It's not all pretty. Um, I'll tell you the story in a second, but let me just show you. It It is been loved, you know. Hopefully you can see some of the loving. Um, can you see some of the scuffs? I mean, visually, if you found this and looked at it, you would say, hmm, G plus, maybe VG minus, maybe. Um, can you see on the other side? I don't know. This light's going to come through. I don't know. But I'm telling you. If you're going to find one, I don't know, there are five or six different ones, maybe seven. But this is the one to find. Why is it the one to find? Well, it was pressed at Monarch. RL is on. I don't even know. Camera work is not great. If you can see it. RL's on both sides. Robert Ludwig. AT is here. Obviously, um, SS. That's one thing you want to see, too. And, um, yeah, this is it. Now, finding all the correct Deb Wax information is great. Uh, this is I, the Monarch one, I think, is probably the higher end of the pricing on this. But how's it sound? I'll tell you, stay tuned how it sounds. Let me tell you how I found it. I've been, uh, you know, I always search for vinyl. And if you watch my videos, I might thrift here and there. Or luckily find something at an estate sale or something. So I went to a sale. The sale advertised with pictures of albums. And you go, wow, that album and that album. And then you show up, you drive 45 minutes to it, and you see the albums, and they're all crap. They're all well-loved. They're all scraped up and scratched and crappy. And then they have price stickers on them, like they are stop pressing vinyl. $10, $15, $20 on vinyl that I don't even know if it would go in a dollar bed. Granted, it was good shit, but um, I found this. Actually, here's what I found first. I go, I found a Led Zeppelin too. Could it be? I pull out the record. It's not the record. It's not the correct record. It was some classical record stuck in here. I go, well, that's happened before. Then I find jazz records and other cool records and blah. Not good. Um, then... In the corner, I find this. And I go, it can't happen. It can't happen with all this shit here. Pull it out, and I go through the checklist. Ding, RL. RL on both sides. Monarch. All, just all the things I've learned over the last two years. And it was it. And it had a $15 price sticker on it. And I said, you're coming home with me. And I bought it. All right, now, now cut to taking it home. I put it in the ultrasonic, cleaned it, gave it a good cleaning, let it dry, and then I put the sucker on. And then a VG minus G plus album turned something magically into a almost VG plus album. Oh my gosh, the sound. The just full force of it kind of subdued any noise, which you hardly heard. The deep richness 
of this album. It's crazy. Um, you know, I like to think that I'm fairly articulate, but I don't know if I can truly convey, even if I did a needle drop now, which I don't want this video to be taken down. So all I can say is crazy. This is crazy. If you can make noise go away, you're magical. You have been touched by the vinyl gods. Dink. Ah, uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm not blasé when people do videos and they said they found this and they described the experience of listening to it and it's otherworldly, it's out of body. But I can honestly tell you, it, it's true. The bill of goods they're selling, buy it. Beg, baller, and steal. Push an old lady down to the ground. Do what you have to do to find this. You know, some people do videos where they go, ho, ho, I found a mid minus version. But I'm telling you, again, 15 bucks, well spent. It is staying in my collection. That ain't going anywhere. Um, but I just would like to do a video to just tell you, I mean... You know, I have a horseshoe up my butt when it comes to this stuff, but um, this is a this is an album you should seek out. Um, I can just picture now all the crappy uh, turntables in the 1970s skipping around trying to play this thing. But, uh, you know, thank God technology advances and modern times allows us to truly give this album its due. And it makes me wonder why they don't, you know, uh, master albums more like this, you know. I do have those, uh, you know, direct metal masters that are that sound hot. I, I kind of like it. I might be different than most people, but uh, I'm just yammering on. This is something good. If you have one, let me know in the comments below your thoughts, if they match mine. Um, if you've had experience listening to one of these, let me know your experience of finding one of these, which my story is as good as the album is. So, um, also, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, notification, all that, all that business. And let me know. I'd like to hear from you guys. So, if you like this video, uh, I know I'm lucky. I'll pat myself on the back. And until next time, the waxed out.